It's all about your money, but not a lot of people understand it. Hey, I'm Lacey Langford, the military money expert, and it's time for What the Heck Wednesday. Today is What the Heck is an LES. LES stands for Leaving Earnings Statement, which is a pay statement service members receive from DFAS. And DFAS stands for Defense Finance Accounting Service. An LES can seem overwhelming and complicated at first. There are a lot of blocks and information and abbreviations on the document. But here's what you need to know about the LES to make it less complicated and easier to read. First, what's on it? The LES begins with your identifying information like your name, your rank, and your years of service. The next section is broken down into entitlements, deductions, and allotments. The entitlement section is basically the pay you receive. It's a combination of basic pay, special pay, and allowances. Basic pay is the biggest portion of the pay you receive and it's based on your rank and your years of service. Special pay would be things like sea pay or any deployment or jump pay. And then your allowances are things like BAS, which is basic allowance for subsistence and BAH, which is basic allowance for housing. Anything that has allowance in it is not a taxable income but let's say your basic pay, that is a taxable income. The deduction section is made up of your federal taxes, Social Security, Medicare. Also in there will be things like your SGLI, your service members group life insurance. Those are things that are gonna be in the deduction section. And also if there's any payment that you're making to DFAS, that's also gonna be listed there. The next section is the allotments. And in there, it's gonna be any payments that you've elected through your MyPay account to pay let's say your dental insurance or your rent or your child care those are all things that can come out of your allotments you cannot include um, personal property payments such as a car payment or a loan the unique thing about allotments is that DFAS helps you out and whatever that payment that you're making, they split it for you. So they take, if it's a $100 payment that you're making towards childcare, they're gonna take 50 out on the first of the month of your pay and 50 out at the end of the month of your pay to help break it up. And you can see more specific examples of an LES for your branch of service on DFAS's website and I will put those links in the comments below. The last section of the LES on the bottom portion of it is the remarks section, which is the most important part to get information out of your LES. This is going to have current information from DFAS. It's going to have any leave that you took in the month. It's going to tell you any adjustments in pay. If you're receiving a prom uh, promotion and your pay is gonna go up, that's gonna be included in there. And also any money that's gonna be taken out from DFAS. Let's say if they overpaid you by accident, that's, those type of things are gonna show up in the notes. So it will give you a heads up of any changes that are coming. When do you get your LES? Well, your LES comes out on the first of the month and the 15th of the month. So there is a mid-month pay and there is the end of month pay. The end of month pay is gonna come out on the first and the mid-month pay is gonna come out on the 15th. Where is your LES? Well, to get a copy of your LES, you can log into your MyPay account using your CAT card or logging in through MyPay website with your password and username and in there you'll be able to print your LES or just look at it online. When to look at it. I would highly recommend that you check your LES every month for errors. It's all fun and games until somebody gets zero pay due on their LES and it happens. Humans work at DFAS, mistakes can be made and it's important for you to catch those mistakes early. And if you're looking at your LES every month, you're gonna catch them earlier. Instead of it going by for a few months or to the point where you don't have any money in your checking account for you to catch the error. So a lot of heartache and pain can be saved if you just check your LES every month for things to make sure that your um, pay date is correct, that your rank is correct, that the pay is correct, that you weren't giving more money or less money than you were owed. And if you do catch those, immediately you wanna let DFAS know. And if you've gotten more money than you were supposed to, do not spend it. They're gonna come 
when you least expect it to take that money out and it most likely will be at a time when you don't have a lot of money in your checking account. So just make sure that you don't spend that money if you have it. Well, there you have it. What the heck is an LES? It's a leave and earnings statement. The pay statement that the Department of Defense gives service members each month. for watching. If you're enjoying What the Heck Wednesday, please subscribe below, comment, and share. I'll see you soon. For the military money expert, and t it, it's all federal state. Three, two, one. The deduction section. Three, two, three, two.